So we're going to start off by talking about some of the common childhood vaccines. Um, we'll talk first about diphtheria. So diphtheria is a toxin-mediated disease. Um, it's caused by uh, Carinobacterium diphtheriae or ulcerans, which as the bottom photo shows is an aerobic gram-positive bacillus. Um, it's kind of an interesting uh, illness because um, the bacteria, so Carinobacterium, has to actually be infected by a virus itself. Um, and as you probably remember from microbiology, um, a, a virus that infects a bacteria is called a bacteriophage. So um, it, in order for um, the toxin to be produced, the bacteria has to be infected by this virus that carries a specific gene producing the toxin. Um, I like to try to give a little bit of history when possible because I feel like it um, can be helpful to uh, remember things as well as it's kind of interesting. So the name of the disease um, is from the Greek word diptera, which means leather hide. And I think it's very aptly named because um, it describes well the clinical manifestation. So it was first described by Hippocrates in the fifth century BC. And um, there were epidemics uh, described in the sixth century AD. The incubation period for this is usually two to five days, but can range from anywhere from one to 10 days. And the symptoms most commonly involve the respiratory tract. Um, and you get a membranous nasopharyngitis. So that top photo shows that kind of white um, thick membrane in the back. And you can also get a obstructive laryngotracheitis. So further down, um, you might not be able to see that without um, looking with special equipment or direct laryngoscopy if you're an anesthesiologist. But any mucous membrane can be uh, involved. You usually have extensive cervical lymphadenitis if the upper uh, respiratory area is involved. And um, because the membrane is so thick, you can develop life-threatening manifestations such as airway obstruction, um, but you can have uh, it affect other parts of the body as well. So you can have a myocarditis, um, you can have cranial and peripheral neuropathies, uh, and rarely you can have cutaneous vaginal con conjunctival or uh, ear infection. So that second picture is a cutaneous infection. Um, transmission of the toxigenic strain is usually by respiratory tract droplets or contact, direct contact with a skin lesion. And overall, the case fatality rate is 5 to 10%. Um, and most often, it's patients less than five years or older patients um, who end up dying. And really, this hasn't changed in the last 50 years. Um, fortunately, good uh, herd immunity and good vaccination has made this pretty rare in the U.S. and actually only one case was reported um, from 2003 to 2012. There's only one reported case. And most of the illnesses that we're talking about today are in fact um, reportable diseases. So if a patient uh, does get it, it should be reported to the CDC. Um, and you want to treat, if you do have a patient with this, um, the, you know, antibiotics are very common. You can treat with penicillin or with erythromycin, but you also want the diphtheria antitoxin, which you can actually only get from the CDC. Like this video and smash that subscribe button as well. And make sure that you hit the bell button and get the notifications for the new videos in the future.